The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So review response number one, part A, we're going to be using the change of base formula. So what it says is use the change of base formula to write log base 9 of x as a logarithm with base 3. So remember that for the change of base formula, you can always write any logarithm as a ratio of two other logarithms with any base you want. So they want it to be with base 3, so let's write 3 there. So you always put the base on the bottom and the number you're doing the log of on top. So now all you have to do is solve what is log base 3 of 9. Remember that something like this is saying 3 to what power is equal to 9? This is equal to 2. So we have 1 half log base 3 of x. Because we have log base 3 of x divided by 2. So this is our answer for uh, letter A. So for part B, we're supposed to write that uh, expression there as a single logarithm with base 3. So the first thing is let's just convert the first one, which is log base 9, to log base 3 using what we just did. So we have 1 half log base 3 of x minus 2 log base 3 of y minus 1 third log base 3 of z. So what we need to do with this now is convert them all into a single logarithm. So the first thing we want to do is make all of these coefficients to be powers instead. So we'll have x to the 1 half, square root of x, you could think of it like that, log base 3 of y squared minus log base 3 of z to the 1 third. Again, that's like the cube root. So finally, remember that when you're combining logarithms that are added or subtracted, anything that's subtracted is going to be divided by that, so it's going to be on the denominator. So we have log base 3, and now we have a whole big fraction. On top is just going to be x to the 1 half. On the bottom, we're going to have y squared times z to the 1 third. And now this is all as a single logarithm. Uh, with base 3. So we needed to do this step first to get the first one to base 3 and then just use our rules for combining logarithms to solve the equation. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.